Oh yes, oh yes, what's up everyone and welcome to this video. This video is going to be the world's first famous Bart Coppens cooking video. Hey, yes, thank you, no applause. Now, I am not an experienced cook at all, okay? In fact, this is probably one of the first times in my life that I'm going to make something that requires effort. Therefore, take everything that happens with a grain of salt. Okay, this is basically, I'm a failure of a human being. I'm a 26 year old man child. I'm not Gordon Ramsay. Okay, okay, so don't take everything I say literally. I'm just going to try some random fuck all stuff and see if it becomes edible. Now here I have all the ingredients and uh, I'll show you what they are. Yay! Okay, okay, okay. So what I have here is chicken thighs, thighs, thighs. That's a difficult word to say if you have a Dutch accent. I mean, could here I have been chicken brains or something? White thighs. Here you have small potatoes, which we call krieltjes in Dutch. But in English you don't have a fancy word, so it's a fuck you. Anyway, oh sorry, I should be nice. This should be a wholesome video. Now here I have some thyme, thyme, which is just as hard to say as Thighs, thighs, thyme, thyme, thighs, thighs, thighs. Jam, damn, you English people made it difficult. Last but not least, you're gonna need some beer. Now, notice how the majority of the beer I have here is non alcoholic. Because, uh, in my opinion, the alcohol really doesn't add much. It's just for flavor. Although, I do have one alcoholic beer. And I'm gonna make a stew. Yes, a stew. And last but not least, some vegetables. Here I have. Oh man, how do you call these things in English? Oh yeah, they're Brussels sprouts. This is non-ironically pumpkin, okay? And here we have red onions. Oh yes. So we're gonna make a stew from potatoes, thyme, chicken thighs, Brussels sprouts, pumpkin and onions. And, and yes, red onions. Oh, I should improve my English. All right, all right, so first things first, I wanna get rid of the annoying stuff here called thyme. And I should get rid of, well, the point of this is to get rid of the leaves that are on the stalks of the thyme. The real question is, how the hell do we do that? I don't know, I don't know. Should we get this shit off with a knife or something? How do cooks do this? I have no clue. I have no clue. Please help me. I'm an idiot. Oh wait, it seems to be working. Now there's probably some people here watching this at home who have cooking experience who are cringing their asses off like Holy shit, this guy is so bad at cooking. I agree my friend. I'm agree. But you know what YouTube is for? YouTube is for untalented people to pretend they are talented. So therefore it is a perfect platform for me. And oh my god, there's so much fucking time here everywhere. And I don't know how to get rid of it in time. Hey, ha! how to get rid of it in time. Do you get it? Time? 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 Yeah, you get the reference. Very good, very good, very good. Like and subscribe. Anyway, yeah, la, 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 la. this is basically therapy for uh, autistic people. I have the A word pass because I'm an artist myself, so I'm able to make fun of autistic people. Because I'm artistic myself. Otherwise, it wouldn't be okay, of course. But uh, hey, I don't even know what time tastes like. I probably do, but uh, I hope it doesn't, doesn't taste as bad as it smells right now. Or maybe that's just me, maybe I need a shower. Maybe I should just shut my mouth because I'm ruining my own content here. Anyway, you get the point, right? Get these fucking leaves off there. Alright, so this beer, it's kind of, kind of want to get rid of it right away. Just throw all of that beer in a pan, okay? That's right, kiddos. If your pee looks like this, go to, in, to your Urinologist, is that a thing? A guy that studies urine, does that exist? I don't know. I don't know, I should learn my English better. Now, the Chinese Communist Party doesn't like alcohol, so neither do YouTube censors. So I also got some non-alcoholic beer to add on top of here. I'm not really sure why I mix alcoholic with non-alcoholic beer. But, uh, for some reason I, I bought a little bit of both, but hey, you know what, you can use whatever beer you like. 
who cares if you cook it most of the alcohol is going to come out anyway so uh, if you want to get drunk of your own stew too fucking bad this beer is just for the fucking flavor okay just go along with it just go along and pretend pretend that i'm jamie oliver oh no jamie oliver isn't a good cook i mean gordon ramsay there we go now I don't know if you wasted three hours of your life trying to get pick all the leaves of your thyme but you probably did since you're out here cooking and that means you're a loser that has time to waste because you see successful people they go to McDonald's successful people let wage slaves make their food for them but if you're out here at home making culinary dishes then you're a fucking loser so you have all the time to waste so you just throw the thyme here in your your goddamn stew here no don't worry about half of it spilling I didn't want that much time anyway. So uh, then take a spoon or some shit to stir it because I hate the way it looks here sitting on top. Oh yes, that's great. That's great my friends. Now now we just made some spicy beer. That's alright, it's alright. Okay, so the next thing, the next thing that I'm going to add here is the vegetables and half of them are spilling. Oh god, I'm so bad at this. No! Okay, that looks about right. I mean, I mean like half of it went inside, right? So eee, I don't like vegetables anyway. Cuz I'm a man. I'm a meat-eating man. You, you losers can have all of this. Oh no, we aren't finished yet. Time for some potatoes. Now these potatoes are too big to throw in the stew, so you've got to slice them into four parts. You know, you, you can probably fucking count, right? Count to four, one, two, three, four, that's how fucking easy it is. There you go, you loser. Four parts. Now do this with a shitload, shitload of them. Like, that's probably not enough. More. I've really got them bastard. Here you go, here you go. Is this enough? You can add as many as you like. That's better, that's better. So now it's time for the Bart Coppens ASMR potato cutting videos. Irish people watching this are going to love this. Hi there Timothy, you're probably watching. So uh, yeah, you know what, you know the point of this right? I think we can probably skip this. Because the point is to, sh to, sh to, to make small wedges of like one fourth potato, 25%. You know, it's the half of half. So yeah, it's gonna take a while. Ta -la 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 -la. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, that was wrong. Mm -hmm. If it feels good, do it. That's my advice of the day. Actually, don't listen to that. If it feels bad, do it also. Okay, so let's hope that I'm able to do all of this without spilling this time. I'm actually kind of nervous. Come on guys, oh God. Oh god, oh god! Oh, well, n about 90% went in. Percentages are going up, although I probably have a lot to clean up after all of this. Yeah, looking good. Alright, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut the chicken. So, have you... Wait, wait, okay, let me get the chicken out first. Let me get the chicken out first. Okay, kids. One second, okay, so now I know I've been making a lot of jokes throughout this video. I've not been very serious before, but for one second I'm going to be serious and give you serious cooking advice. Do you know why we cut the vegetables before we cut the chicken? That's because I'm using the same cutting board, okay? And rule one of cooking is you do not contaminate a cutting board that you use for vegetables to cut raw meat. Why? Because raw meat is contagious. It contains a lot of harmful microorganisms and needs to be cooked very thoroughly. Thoroughly. It needs to be cooked anyways um, to destroy them. So if you do this wrong, you're going to give yourself food poisoning, okay? And food poisoning is not fucking cool. You don't want to have salmonella. And this, this knife is trash, so I'm going to take a better knife for a second. So, uh, but let's give you a moment to think about this. Don't cut your 
you cut your vegetables on a board that you use to cut raw chicken, okay? You don't do that or you're going to make yourself sick. So that is why we make this two, uh, I made the vegetables of this two first. Of course it can be in any order. I mean you don't have to follow this recipe exactly as I do it, you can be creative. But follow the damn rule. Don't process raw meat, especially raw chicken, on a cutting board that you use to cut vegetables. Now I'm a terrible cook, I'm very, very inexperienced. But even I know this, because this is very important, okay? If any young people are watching this with very little cooking experience, remember it, remember these words and you'll... Okay, it doesn't matter if your cooking fails, if it doesn't taste as good as you expected, that's normal, okay? You don't make the perfect dish every time, but make sure that you cook safely. That's much more important is to, to remember food safety, okay? Really, seriously, guys. I'm going to cut this into small pieces. Should be... It's not an easy task, it looks kind of disgusting here. But uh, this is quality content, guys. Well, and you're probably wondering why am I making cooking videos so all of a sudden? Are you trying to, trying to change your YouTube career now? No, 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 I'm just bored and I thought it was fun to do, you know? It's, YouTube is all about having fun. YouTube is about doing what you want. You can do comedy if you want, you can do something educational. You can do something funny or stupid. That's the fun thing about YouTube. You can just be yourself and upload things that you like and maybe other people will like it or maybe not, you know, but you gotta get that creative drive in there. So a little bit of creativity is important. Hmm, there's probably way too much chicken actually. Um, maybe I bought a little bit too much. Maybe if I have some left, I'll uh, save some for tomorrow or something. Um, so uh, the reason I'm uploading this on a secondary channel is I don't want to ruin my big YouTube channel with off-topic nonsense. Because this video may be something different than usual. Um, on my main channel I also upload off-topic things. Like travel vlogs, but uh, this is so completely random and... I think some people would not appreciate it. So I upload it on a secret channel. As for everything that's not meat, you can just dump it in the stew. But uh, the chicken, we're gonna bake it first. We're gonna fry it first, I mean. Because I don't want to take any risks. Because it has to be fried first. Because the stew is not going to... It's not going to... Well, stop it from being raw. So... Let's get this, this one warmed up. Now you may want to add a little bit of salt here. That's it, don't poison yourself, that's enough. Now this next step is not completely necessary, it's optional. But you can add some wheat flour. And then process the chicken in that before you bake it. It will make it a little crispy. Just like this. Make sure that you've washed your hands before you do this. So, uh, whoop, uh, there you go. I know I'm a disgusting guy, but I'm big on actually hygiene. So, at least when I cook, that is. Uh, you can just mix that a little bit, like this. It's gonna look a bit silly, I know. But uh, hey, it works, right? Just get that flour. So uh, you, now you, you don't have to do this, like I said, it's uh, extra, but uh, there you go. Crush some peppers. You can even go ahead now, if you want, and uh, add some black pepper. Warning, this stuff is spicy. Ground it up.
Now if you don't want any pepper or this or any flour, you can just go ahead and bake the chicken, all right? This is going to add some flavor for, to it, some kick for sure. So uh, surely the result is going to be nice. It takes a while to grind it all down, but uh, hey, as you can see, I have a strong left arm, don't ask me why. Ahem. Sure, sure, why not? Oof, this thing is heavy. I forgot that's a block of solid stone. Great, great, great. Just a little bit of pepper, this is strong pepper, so it's compote pepper, I think. Okay, friends, there we go. Okay, so maybe that was way too much flour. But, uh, this kitchen is going to be a mess, I know. Don't tell me about it. I'm perfectly aware, okay, there's way too much chicken, so I guess I'll save some tomorrow. I guess. Chicken is on the menu for tomorrow. So this is the part where we just fry the chicken. And make sure it's not raw, okay? That's a sin. You do not want raw chicken under any circumstances, I warn you. It's okay to put this hot. Raw chicken is a food safety risk. And we are not going to risk that. Now if you're really feeling adventurous, you can take some cloves of garlic too and just throw them in there. They're not going to make much of a difference on your plate, but it will change the flavor of the overall stew a lot. Because flavor has a very, sorry, garlic has a lot of flavor. So do this if you are adventurous. And with adventurous, I mean the kind of adventurous of like those women who tell their partner, Honey, I think we need some space. Only to take a break from the relationship for like six months or a year, only to return back to their partner. They pretend it's about personal space and adventure, but boys, <laughs> we all know what she really wanted, right? Anyway, <coughs> continue to the cooking. Chicken. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so I think by now the chicken should be done. Should be well done. We're going to turn off this one. So we can put it to the test to make sure it isn't raw or undercooked. There should be no traces of pink. The meat should be white. Is this meat white? Hmm. Most of it is. Although I still see some pinkish accent so I would say maybe maybe a few more minutes okay so this is a few minutes later let's pick up some random pieces inspection time let's see this is looking this is okay I think uh, this is the white meat. It should be white like this. Let's see. Yes, this meat is white. This is the this is the good color. This is the color that I want. White, not pink. Yes. Okay, so it should be ready. So now the point is to add as much chicken as we can. So that's two, but I don't know how much of it will fit inside because I cook too much chicken, I think. 
Let's see if we can scoop some up. Nah, it's okay. Maybe everything can fit inside. I do not know. We shall see. Yes, I think it's going to be okay. To my surprise. Let's steer a little bit. Maybe we can make more space in here. Uh, I do hope it's not going to overcook. It looks very full. But hey. Yes. I think in the end it's going to work out actually. Yes, yes. Get all the chicken in there. Yes, yes. Oh yes, this is going to be a, a lot of meat. Sorry for you vegan viewers, vegetarian viewers. This one's not going to be for you, but uh, maybe in the future I'll make more. Ah, this should be more than enough. So now it's time to make the stew. Oh yes, oh yes, looking good there. Now the point of a stew is that you let it stew. So you add a lid on that stuff and let it cook for 30 minutes. Okay, and put the fire low so it doesn't burn. 30 minutes, okay guys? 30 minutes, remember. Oops, it's probably gonna overcook. I realize that now. I added way too much. Oops. Thirty minutes, guys. We are on half the time. Okay, friends. I think I can safely say this one is just about done. Let's hope this isn't horrible. And it is actually edible. Who knows? I'm spilling a lot again. I should learn how to cook more efficiently and without less spillage and wastage and whatever the silly things are that I do. But uh, hey, this at least this one is looking good. The verdict will be in soon. It's almost like soup. Alright, well I am curious, it smells strange but not bad, Ooh, it's hot, it's way hotter than I expected it to be. But you know what, it's, uh, it's not bad actually. Hmm, yes, this is not something I typically eat. So it was an experiment, but uh, I would say it has turned out pretty well. Although the time is very dominant, maybe I should have added a little bit less time. Definitely has a strong beer flavor as well, so I'm surprised it has retained the flavor of the beer that well. But uh, I like it. It's like um, a very rich stew. Nothing seems undercooked. So it seems like Mr. Bart Koppen is here for the first time in his life. Made a proper meal, meal for himself. Hashtag adulting. Now, like I said, I'm a shitty cook. So, uh, the fact it's edible gives me hope for the future. 
Hmm. Yeah, not bad at all. So uh, this has been an, a very atypical video of mine. Um, I'm a bigger YouTuber, I have a bigger channel with a uh, few thousand subscribers. But um, this is really just a fun experiment. If you like this video, I have bad news for you. Uh, I don't expect to make videos like this very often. It is uh, quite rare that I do this. It's just because I had bored and some spare time. Although I am a human being and I can be influenced. So if you comment on this video and maybe tell me that you liked it. Maybe if a lot of people do that, I can be convinced to do it more often. Yeah, it's not bad at all. And uh, this was just very basically a fun experimental uh, kind of thing. I didn't want to upload it on my main channel because my uh, I have a big channel about nature and insects. And this content was uh, 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 so random and off topic. I think it would uh, pollute my YouTube content too much. I do have off topic videos, but usually even the off topic videos they are about nature in some way or entomology. And um, I think uploading random cooking vlogs is a little bit too much for my followers. Hmm. But yeah, I would, if I had to give it a rating, I would say this recipe is maybe, maybe a six and a half out of ten. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's reasonable for a stew. It does have an odd flavor because the thyme flavor is very strong and the beer flavor is very strong. Uh, and I guess that's the point. But to me, it is a bit strange to taste, you know, beer. It's like, you know, it's not a flavor that I usually associate with food. I mean, I associate beer with beer and uh, not with stuff like this. But hey, maybe it's just me because I'm not used to eating it. I think maybe someone who likes stew would rate it higher. Anyways, I'm gonna say thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.